Three, two, one. Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Strain Style, where the bait, the gear, and the lake are the stars of the show. So if you're sick of fishing videos with the creator's face all in front of the camera, talking in front of the camera, opening the pack of baits at home and never fishing them, Sitting in the car and drinking coffee and talking some more, man. Come on over to Northern Strain Style where we fish the baits and let the bait be the star. Sup, Shug Knight? Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Strain Style, and today we're talking about the Depths Slip Head Jig. Their swing jig head. And man, this is the Suge Knight of the swing jigs. Head. This, this thing just punked all the other ones. And you're like, oh man, there's a ton of them on the market. What's so different about this one? Besides, it has that nice little skirt on it. It's got a split ring, so you can change and upgrade your hooks or go to a smaller hook. The stock hook on it is one of those Ryugi hooks that is so sharp. It's worth the purchase right there. And it's got those two little ridge bumps on the head, causing the head to grab the bottom or structure a little bit and to put movement into the bait without you having to do it you know so it's kind of like oh that head hits a tree branch and then it kicks the the bait up and imparts the action in it and that's what's awesome about these swing jig heads with that free moving hook you're going to get a lot better hookup ratio and you are going to get a lot more action out of your bait instead of, let's say, just dragging a football jig head uh, with a soft plastic on it or even, you know, a jig with whatever your favorite trailer is. Because with that split ring and it being free-flowing, flow you know, it doesn't have any resistance. And, man, I didn't think I was going to like this bait as much as I did so I definitely recommend it and once again it's a depths jig yeah that Ryuga hook it comes with is like man that's what these bait companies should all be doing putting proper hooks on the baits that they come with <clears throat> especially when it comes to these uh, crankbaits and stuff. But yeah, I'm just out there dragging it around. And I was beating on them with a, like the regular biffle head with, you know, a boot tail and um, the missile D-bomb. 
So <laughs> I pretty much wore that bite out. And then I tried this. And just even having that little skirt on there just made that much difference. And I had the boot tail rigged on this. And man, deadly, deadly combo. And I like working it like uh, old Tommy Biffle says, you know. Uh, I work it like a crankbait on the bottom. I kind of like keep it moving and keep it kicking off the bottom. Keep it uh, kind of like kicking up a dust trail. And you know they're super weedless. But yeah. Just another one for the arsenal. Thanks for watching, guys.